I received a request to go through question four of your recent uh, workshop on treatment principles, so the second workshop on treatment principles, and to go through projection diagrams as related to PRISM subjectives and how you can translate the projection diagram into a theory about the type of deviation a patient may have had in the past. Okay, so in this particular scenario, we have a patient with a left esotropia and we've been given the PCT result uh, at far and near and it's the same, it's 35 doctors. And then we're given the prism subjective at near. So the first thing we do is we would draw a free space projection diagram. And what we know is that the left eye is esotropic, so the CIP is falling on nasal retina. And we also know that the distance between the CIP and the fovea is 35 diopters. And we get that from the uh, PCT. Now, we're going to use the near PCT, which is also 35, but um, we use the near PCT because the prism subjective was also performed at near. Okay, so we know that fovea to CIP is, um, or equates to the PCT and is 35 diopters. Now we have the prism subjective and we're told that the patient has single from zero to 35 base out. So if we put a base out prism, we know that all the way 35 adopters more temporally from the CIP, we have a suppression scotoma. Beyond this point, the patient has diplopia, indicating there's no suppression on, on this part of the retina. And we know that um, the endpoint is at the fovea because we've already been told from the PCT that the distance between the CIP and the fovea is 35 diopters. Now, should this have been 40, you would have gone across the fovea and into temporal retina. But this was 35 diopters, which is the exact distance between CIP and fovea. We then um, have a base in result, single from zero to 15. So here is the base in, 15 diopters, and so we know that the suppression scotoma extends another 15 diopters nasally. Okay, and then beyond this point, there's diplopia. So you've now mapped the suppression scotoma. How can you translate this into what potentially the patient used to have <clears throat> before this point in time that you're seeing them? Now, what we know is that generally suppression scot scotomas extend from fovea to CIP. So what we see here is that whilst the deviation is, deviation is only 35 diopters, the suppression scotoma keeps going for another 15 beyond the current CIP. And so what I can suspect or what I suspect is that this point here must have been an old CIP and this is now the new CIP. And so now what I'll think about is, where is this old CIP? It's on nasal retina, and it's beyond the current CIP. It's actually 35 plus 15 diopters away from fovea. So we're at 50 diopters away from the fovea. And as such, the only interpretation um, that I can have of that is that there must have been in the past a 50 diopter ET at some point and that most likely this patient has had surgery and post-operatively they have a small angle or a residual esotropia. Okay, if you have any further questions about this, let me know.